Grade 8 math number 2.3a, negative powers of 10. We've been talking about scientific notation for the last couple of videos, and we know now that it's a way of writing very large or very small numbers as whole numbers or decimals multiplied by a power of 10. And numbers used in science can be extremely large or small, so scientists use scientific notation to write quicker. We learned that 93 million can be written as 9.3 times 10 to the 7th because we moved the decimal point seven hops over. And we learned that 300 thousandths can be written as three times 10 to the negative five because it's moving five hops to the right. Five hops to the right for a decimal makes a negative five exponent for the power of 10. We also learned that this number here in front of the multiplication symbol has to have a number and then a decimal point. And it has to be greater than or equal to one and it has to be less than 10. If we write it with a decimal point in front of the 9, it's wrong. And if we write it with a decimal point with two digits on this side, it's wrong. It's got to have one digit, the decimal point, and the rest of the number for it to be correct. We can use negative powers of 10 to write very small numbers in scientific notation. When we have a very small decimal with many place values, we can move the decimal point to the right and use a negative exponent for the power of 10, just like we did over here. A hydrogen atom is 10 billionths of a meter thick. Look at all these zeros. So what scientists do is they write it as 1 times 10 to the negative 10. We did 10 hops to the right, and that's going to equal a negative 10 for the exponent for the power of 10. See? Much easier to write this and faster than writing it this way. You've got to count all those zeros make sure you did it right. We learned in the last video that if we have 1.234 times 10 to the third power, it's going to equal 1,234. Well, every time that decimal moves one hop to the right, it's going to increase the power of 10. If we move it in between here, it's going to be 10 to the first power. In between here, it's 10 to the second power, and behind the four, it's 10 to the third power. Well, same thing if we're going negative. 1.234 times 10 to the negative third power would be written as a decimal like this, and it would be 1,234 millionths. So the decimal point was in between the 1 and the 2. If we multiply it by 10 to the negative 1, it moves it here. 10 to the negative 2 moves it here. And multiply it by 10 to the negative 3, and it puts it here. For every decimal move, one hop left is de decreasing the power of 10 one time. See? Every time we move to the left. Now, if you think you've got it, you can move on to the next video. This is going to be for the people who are following me in the textbook. There's an exercise in the textbook on the first page of 2.3 that looks a little confusing, and I thought I'd go over it with you. These are different numbers, but you'll be able to understand what I'm doing. It takes a number, like 42 millionths, and it tells you to decide where to put the decimal point. We know we'd put it in between the 4 and the 2, like this. And then it tells us to divide this number it tells us to divide this number by this number. Okay, we need to put this one in, into that one like this. We do the division and we come up with 100 thousandth. Then it tells us to write that 100 thousandth in scientific notation. And that would come out to 1 times 10 to the negative 5 because we'd move that decimal place over behind the 1. Then it tells us to combine this number with the original number with the, or with the 4.2. Now, of course, this is going to equal the original 42 millionths because the inverse of division is multiplication. If we're going to multiply this right now like it's telling us to, to combine it, it's going to put us right back up to here. We just divided this into here and got that as the quotient. If we multiply this 100 thousandths by the 4.2, it's going to put us back to the original number here, right? The dividend. So I don't understand why they're asking you to do this in the book but I wanted to show you what they expected of you so at least you'd be able to do it. And like I said, it's got different numbers in the book, but at least you'll be able to see what's going on, okay? So you're just going to take that 100 thousandth and you're going to combine it as scientific notation, uh, 4.2 times 1 times 10 to the negative fifth, and you're going to end up with 4.2 times 10 to the negative fifth, which is really in standard notation, the original number that we started with, okay? So I'm not sure why they're asking you to do this, except maybe they're trying to show you the process. I don't know.
but that's what they expect of you, okay? All right, so for everyone else and you, we're going to move to our next video, 2.3b. I'm going to continue talking about negative powers of 10 and writing scientific notation with negative powers, okay? Remember to hit the like button if I'm helping you. Remember I'm on Twitter and I post my whiteboard notes on there so you can copy them, download them, or print them for help. And don't forget to support me on Patreon.com. I'd like to keep these ad-free and I could really use the support from you. See you next video. Bye.